Hello Unity folks, this is Tim Grotman, and I wanted to show you what software I installed into my crossover bottle so that I could get Tortoise SVN to work on the Mac. Alright, so let's start with configuring my bottles. Alright, so in my Tortoise SVN bottle, and you can use whatever name you want, I'll make that configurable, there is um, I installed WinMerge to get the diff tool. I installed Tortoise SBN, the 32 bit version, to get Tortoise SBN. And I installed the Putty tools so that I can run Page Ant, which lets you do uh, it encrypted SS, uh, SVN. And um, you can change the port for uh, your SVN server, which you can't do on. The URL. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing that I did is I go and I download all the Windows installers. So if I go to winmerge.org. There's the download now button, and I get the setup exe. Then I go over to Putty, do a search for Putty, go to the download page. And here you'll see an installer for the PuTTY installer. So I grab that one on the Tortoise SVN. Went to the Tortoise SVN site on the downloads page. I downloaded the 32 bit OS for Tortoise SVN. And then when, once you have those downloaded, then I went into crossover, and I hit this little plus button, name the new bottle, so I did tortoise SVN, let's do a 2 because I already have one, I just set it to Windows XP, I hit create, it installs its default stuff. So this is putting all the dependencies that you need in order to be able to install Windows software so that Crossover is able to emulate Windows. Okay, so now that it's ready, then I go to the Tortoise SVN2 bottle and in the control panel, applications, bottle, one of these should say install software. Here we go. On your applications tab in manage bottles, you can say install software. So I clicked on that. And then you get the select application to install. And then, so the first one I'll do is, is putty. Now when you search for stuff and you don't have the cross tie set up, you just pick other application. You select an installer, you choose it from a file. And I just go to my downloads and I search for putty installer. Use that installer. You pick, uh, since I'm already in the bottle, it, it knows I'm going to install it to the Tortoise SVN2 bottle, although you can edit and pick a different bottle. And then you just hit install. So again, this putty installer, so that you have access to the putty terminal, and you also get access to page ant, which allows you to add an SSH key so you don't have to type it every time. And I I can just use the default options when I click through here. And if you say view the readme file, it'll just pop up readme that you can close. So if you wait for this to finish, then just go on to the next one and it'll create um, it'll create shortcuts. You can click on these to launch it. So we don't need 
Okay, now that PuTTY's installed, we can say we're done, and we go on to install the next piece of software, which will be Tortoise SBN. So I'll do a search for Tortoise SBN. It's not there, so I'll just say other application. It doesn't have the cross tie. Let's go into the right bottle, but we just have to pick an installer. So I'll pick a file. And I'll search for my tortoise installer. There we go. So here you can create a bottle for 1.7 and you can create a bottle for 1.6. Uh, this is the latest. I use this installer. Click next or install. Okay. The defaults will be fine. Um, here, just install the command line tools. Next, install. Okay. This actually installs faster than <laughs> on Windows. Okay. So that created some different files here. So, you, you can run the various, you can run the various commands to get access to your settings from this uh, shortcuts. Which is good if you want to change the, your stiff viewer and some of the other settings, or clear your authentication, whatever you might do in the settings. All right, so we're done with that. The last bit is I like to install. Since I launched that thing, oh, here we go. Now that we're done with the install, there we go. We can install the next piece of software. So we're going to do a search for win merge. It's not there, so we just pick other. It needs a cross tie. It's going to install to our bottle. And now I'm going to pick a different installer. Pick the installer file. And I'm going to go down and do a win merge. Use that installer. So this is my preferred diff tool. Install. Okay, next. Next, next. Defaults are okay. Okay. So when you click integrate with Tortoise SVN, it'll automatically set Win Merge as your default div tool. Probably add it to your system path too. Okay, and click next. Install. Okay, next. Okay, and then I I usually launch it once. Okay, and then I'll go into the edit options for comparing. And then I typically tell it to ignore white space, ignore blank lines, and ignore carriage return differences. Okay. And now we are all set up. I can click done, and the bottle is set up. Now, when it created the shortcut, uh, we're in the program files on the C drive of our bottle. I can go into the PuTTY section here. And if you launch PuTTY for your bottle, not the manual, but the application. All right, so this launches PuTTY. And in this case, you can type in a custom session name to match with your server. You would put in your custom server. .com, whatever your domain is. And this is the one place where you can change the port. So if you've got a strange port or something, 
uh, this is where you do it. I also go in and I turn on in the SSH auth, allow agent forwarding, and under SSH, you can change the username. Let's see. Oh, you can also point it to your SSH key. And you can change the default uh, username that it logs in as. And with the, these settings, you'll be set up so that you can do putty, you can do page and. So that's a, another one. Cancel out of here. So, and then you, you would save your session. And then this last step is to run page ant, which on Windows, this just opens up something in your, there we go. It opens up something in your taskbar. And this is where you click add key and you would add your SSH PPK so that you can do encrypted SSH. And it'll automatically detect that so that when you're doing checkouts, you don't have to type your password each time, and you're doing the encrypted SSH communication. All right, well, thanks for watching.